you will need a text editor like Notepad for Windows, text edit for Mac, and a web browser. So, in the previous tutorial, I have shown you different elements to HTML, and now I have made a simple site in HTML to show you how to style it in CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. This is a sheet that contains the styles for the elements. There are different ways of implementing CSS into your web page, through an external style sheet, an internal style sheet, or in line with the page. To see this in more detail, see the link in the description box. Let's look at inline styling first. Let's change the font size and font for this h1 tag. So let's go to our code and paste it here. So this is our style attribute and this is the CSS code. So here, font family is the property of h1 and then it's separated with a colon and Calibri is the value and if you have more than one property, separate it by a semicolon. So let's save it and see how it's changed. So here, first, it's this size and it's in Times New Roman. So let's refresh and see what it changes to. Now the font size has become bigger and now it's Calibri. But what if we wanted many headings that we wanted to style the same way? It would take too long to do this. So let's make it easier to style all the h1 tags in the page by putting it into the head tag. This is an internal style sheet. So let's go to our index page and paste in the code here. So here, this is our style tag and our closing style tag. Here again is our CSS code. h1 is known as the selector because we've selected the h1 tag to style. This is the opening curly bracket and the closing curly bracket. Here is our CSS styles. So again, the font family is Calibri. And the font size is 35 pixels. And I've aligned it to the center. And now if we get rid of this, it should look exactly the same as before. As you can see, our H1 tag has stayed exactly the same. Let's change the background from white to a light blue. We can use either a name, a hexadecimal value, or a RGB value. So let's enter a new line and paste in the code. Here are our three ways. This is a CSS comment. A comment is done by a forward slash, an asterisk, then you type in your comment and end it with an asterisk and a forward slash. To list background color, it is background dash color, spelled C-O-L-O-R, and you can list it in the name, so I've written light blue, or hexadecimal, so here it's hashtag C-A-D-6-E-6, or an RGB value, where it's RGB, and then in parentheses, you have the R value, then a comma, the G value, comma, and then a B value, each one from 0 to 255. Let's get rid of these. I'm going to use the first one. Let's save it and see if our background has changed. As you can see, it stayed the same. Now, let's style our paragraph tag. So go back to your index page, and let's paste in our code here. Here, P is our selector, and I've chosen to align it to the center, change the font size to 14 pixels, change it to the Arial font, the text color to be white, and its background color to be dark blue. Let's see if it's changed. And as you can see, they've all changed. But what if we had many pages that we wanted to style with, and we wanted to change one style for all of them? It would take too long to do this if we had many pages, so instead of using an internal style sheet, we are going to be using an external style sheet. First, go to your index page and cut and paste everything in between the style tags. Don't include the style tags, otherwise it won't work. Go to new notepad page and paste them. Then save it as a CSS file. I'm going to call it styles and then end it in .css and save it as an all files type 
And now go back to your index page and delete the style tags. Now we're going to add another tag to make sure these pages stay connected. This is the link tag. This has no closing tag, so just end it like this. It's similar to the break tag. Here, the relation is a style sheet. Its type is CSS. And this href attribute is similar to the one we used in the anchor tag. So now, if we save this and go back to our page, this should look exactly the same. And it looks exactly the same. Here, we have two paragraph tags. Let's say I want to style this differently to this one. To do this, CSS uses either classes or IDs. So let's go back to our index page to change the code. Let's make this paragraph have a class of header. And this one have the class of content. Now let's go to our styles page to change the CSS for them. Let's delete this one because we do not need it. Here, p dot header is our selector. p is the tag, and dot header is the class. We use dot because we want the class. Again, here p is the tag, dot because it's a class, and content because that's its name. And here is the pre-explained CSS code. Let's save it and save the index page and see if it's changed our paragraph tags. Here, as you can see, the alignment, font color, background color, and sizes have changed. It's changed to left alignment because I didn't specify it to align it centered. Now you have a website that is structured in HTML and styled in CSS. For more information, please see my website or look at the CSS page in the W3Schools website. This is w3schools.com. Here you can learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript, which I will cover in future tutorials. Please vote, comment, subscribe and comment tutorial suggestions. Thank you for watching.